Hello, Internet! It's Colorful Artie. Welcome back to Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Praise be to God. And so today, we're going to be starting Dark Story. So, one minor thing. I actually recorded this episode already, but both the video and the audio got screwed up. So, none of it got recorded, but it already saved my progress through Dark Story. So I'm just going to have to start a new file, play through the first few levels in Dark Story, and catch back up. I'm sorry, but that's the only way I can do it. So starting... Dark Story. Prison Island inside the base. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Security breach at gate 3. Intruder has located in the north quadrant and is moving in the direction of the underground base. All units prepare to engage. Emergency battle formation. Standard battle procedures initiated. This is not a drill. This is not a drill. Let's get a look at what my father was working on. A top secret military weapon. The military shut down the research because they knew. So yeah, we get to play as Eggman in Stage 1 Iron Gate. Get to the core of the military base. Eggman plays more or less identically to Tails. I like him a bit better though. So once again, we're in a walker, we can walk onto enemies, walk onto multiple enemies to get extra point bonuses. And also, it's like we're breaking into like the top secret military headquarters, and Eggman just can destroy everything in his path. Clearly the military needs to do some work on updating their security. Yeah, this is basically a dark version of Prison Lane. Oh man, I want the chow box. Okay, maybe not that chow box. I don't have the hover ability as Eggman, so jumping can be a bit problematic. Hey, losers. I must say I'm a big fan of the Iron Gate level. Yeah, these doors that the military's blocking us from, we just... There are four different points we can lock onto to destroy the door. Oh boy! Enemy walk-on festival. Once we get the hover ability and come back to this level, we can take a lot of shortcuts. Like, this room becomes a lot faster because we can just hover down to the bottom. But without the hover ability, our jumping ability is so bad! Seriously, military, you need to work on this a little bit. Your security's a joke. And since you're the freaking military, it really should be, like, the best security in the whole world. Alright. I think that was a mistake. That was a mistake! No! Don't go over there unless you have the hover ability. Darn it! I was probably going to get an A rank for this level, too. Yeah, it would be good for the military to stop Eggman. <laughs> Out of Eggman's way! <laughs> what military robots, please? These guys are jokes! That was a terrible Eggman voice. I am sorry. Alright, going down. Another one of these elevators. So I'm guessing I'll probably get a D. Because, you know, I uh, got a pretty bad... It took a pretty bad spill earlier and lost all my points. It's my own fault. I shouldn't have gone over there. Yosh! I don't know what Yosh means, but Eggman loves saying it. Yeah, you better lock up. These security doors are so easy to get through. So either Eggman has like the most powerful walker known to man and it's like a homemade walker, or the military is just as terrible. 
You decide. Alright, so up here they finally get the idea, hey, maybe we should make like indestructible gates to block his path. Except, well, the military was dumb and put a missile right in front of the doors. So, yeah. Just destroy that control system. The missile turns around, and bada beam, bada boom. Yush! Hey, <laughs> oh, chow box right behind me. Should have gotten that. That's fine. Rank D. I should have tried a little harder. I bet it would have been an A if I hadn't died. Yes, yeah, so it says I only have one emblem. Again, I've already recorded it, so my emblem count will be fine in the next episode. Harry's top secret weapon. It's a lot smaller than I expected. Enter user data. Uh -huh. Enter password. Password is Maria. Maria. Now all I have to do is to place the Chaos Emerald into this console. How does Eggman have a Chaos Emerald? He lost all of this at the end of Sonic Adventure 1. Also, how does the military not know Eggman's here? Unless he killed everybody in the military. Like, how are guards not showing up? Is that you, Sonic? Are you trying to spoil my plans again? Wait a minute. You're not Sonic. This is impossible. It's good to know he's not blind. His shadow. Since you were so kind to release me, my master, I will grant you one wish. Now what? Behold the true power I possess. So yeah, Shadow is apparently the military's top secret weapon. Who just randomly happens to look like Sonic. I don't really know why. It's never really explained. This is Scorpion Troops Hotshot. Enemy movement has been detected. En route to intercept and destroy. So, pretty much a repeat of a Sonic boss. Fighter 8X Hotshot. And he's just as easy. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't Scorpion pick up any Reens. Oh, that is bad. En route to intercept and destroy. I feel like Shadow's a bit harder to control than Sonic is. Omo Chow! Omo Chow destroyed the crate I was standing on. Alright. Yeah, this is the extra move he has. Oh, come on! Shadow! Shadow, it's really hard for him to jump on the crates. He always slips off. Mainly because Shadow, while Sonic runs everywhere, Shadow, uh, like, slides everywhere. What is that, Shadow? The military should know how strong Shadow is. He's their top secret project. On it. He's in a spot I can't hit him because he destroyed all the crates. Nope. I can't believe that he took me that long to beat him. <laughs> Pathetic humans. Oh, it's good to know Shadow hates all humans for some reason. Good for him, not. Destroying that guard robot was spectacular! So, Shadow, you are the military's top secret weapon. But what did you mean when you said you will grant me a wish? Bring more Chaos Emeralds. 
Shadow, wait! I'll be waiting for you in the central control room on the Space Colony Ark. Ark. Well, that was rather cryptic, Shadow. You said you'd grant a wish, not be like, Give me these! And hey, we've seen this scene before! Just this time, it's Rouge's theme song in the background. Just Oh, I just realized. <laughs> you got that? The Master Emerald contains special powers that neutralize the energy of the Chaos Emeralds. That makes it very powerful. Knuckles doesn't have any of his equipment I got in the other folder because, yeah. He's calling who at this? I am here following the signal from the Emerald. If I'm not mistaken, this is the Master Emerald, is it not? Dr. Eggman. So that's Dr. Eggman. Well, I guess I can use it for something. I'll just take it with me. Farewell, knucklehead. Not if I can help it. So Eggman just has, like, uh, the ability to detect where all the emeralds are. That's kind of weird. I did that to prevent the Master Emerald from being stolen, you idiot. If it's in pieces, I can restore it. And by the way, that's not your emerald. Doesn't matter. I'll look into it once I get back to the base. Nobody really cares that Eggman's around, they're just like, oh, whatever. So now we get to play as Rouge in Dry Lagoon. Find the three pieces of the Master Emerald. So Dry Lagoon is actually very different from Wild Canyon, which is cool. And Rouge plays identically to Knuckles, basically. She can fly, she can kick. So first thing we want to do, there's this turtle over here. If we kill these... If we kill the if we kill these robots Nice going Rouge. Then the turtle will go into the water. We can use him later, but first I wanna see if there are any master level pieces around here. Yeah, Rouge for some reason has the exact same ability as Knuckles to just randomly know when there are gems around. Alright. Looks like we need to go on the turtle. Press B, it'll dive underwater. Take us to the second part of the course. Alright, where is it? It's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe up here? Nope. It's underwater somewhere. Oh, there it is. Alright, I might still be able to get an A rank with that. Just wanna see if there are any ever. Oh, sure enough, there's the third one. Wait, I thought I saw the third one up there. Oh, there it is. Woo! So I'm guessing... Okay, good. The second one is back at the main area. When I played this in my original recording, all of the emeralds were in that small second area. Every single one of them. Oh, chow box. Yeah. Rouge wants to go to the chow world. I like this music. Okay, the emerald piece needs to be in the first area, right? I looked everywhere in the second area, and it never went off. There we go. Woot! I think that's an A rank. How is that? Perfect? Like me? Okay, Rouge is so egotistical. Rouge, you're my least favorite character in this. That you can play as. Yep, ciao world. So basically, 
I did do a little bit in the Chow world in the failed recording, but it was all in the kindergarten. Basically, I took my Chow out of the, uh, what lesson was it? Drum lesson and put them, I believe, in a dance class. Yep, spin dance. Oh, they're still in class. Oh, I want them to learn the song. And, uh, the black, black market's not gonna have anything good because I only have two emblems at this point. Goodbye, goodbye, little chow. Alright, we're in the desert area now. It's time for another Eggman level. Sand Ocean. Return to Hidden Base. This is basically Hidden Base at night. Those idiots will never find my hidden base inside this pyramid. <laughs> Let's take care of the here first, then get inside. I love how Eggman's like, the people will never find my hidden base in the pyramid. It's like, um, the military's robots are all here. So, clearly that's not correct. Something good that way once we get the ability to destroy metal crates. And again, we can't hover, so we need to be very careful on this level. Because, well, much like in Tales of Story, that quicksand is instant death. Main gimmick of this stage, destroy the dynamite, pillars will drop, and create bridges for you. It's pretty cool. Oh cool, I got the five rings from that. So ideally I'd like to make it through this stage without dying. I mean, ideally I'd like to make it through any stage without dying. And thanks for the bridge! Alright. So remember, only like locking onto things that give numbers when you lock onto them will actually add to your uh, combo counter. Eggman wants to visit the Chow World too! Sounds like a grand old time! Eh, eh. I like the Tails and Eggman missions, but man, they have terrible jumps. also really slow. That's why I like the Gamma missions from Adventure 1 much better. Gamma plays pretty much exactly the same, except his jump is a lot better and he's a lot faster. Whoosh. Back to hidden base! I forgot he actually does that sound effect uh, when Tails fights him. Also, this has really good music. Like, this is one of those stages where it's like, when people think of great Sonic music, they don't really think- No! <laughs> Why? When people think of great Sonic music, they don't really think of Sand Ocean, but it really does have great music. Well, there goes my probably B rank, if I'm being perfectly honest, but... Yosh! That was too close. I feel like it's weird, those big guys are much harder to walk onto than you might think. Make a little step ladder for us, and away we go. Why? Why is it on the sand levels where, if, like, one wrong jump is instant death, it drops your jump inputs a ton? Like there! You know what, if I have a game over on this level, I'm kind of okay with that. Yeah, you know what, I want my rank! I want my good rank! Alright, but I finally made it to the next checkpoint. 
Hooray! Whoosh! Yeah, shield! Not that that's gonna do, like, anything for me, because it's always the quicksand that kills me. Hey, man, just jump up there, please. Thank you. Oh, that's gonna be a big combo! Oh, no. That was, I think, second best combo you could get. If I had locked onto one more, then I would have gotten the perfect combo. Well, maybe I'll still get a D. Maybe. Move it. Alright, that took longer than expected, but we beat Sand Ocean. Woo! That was too close. Yeah, they don't want me to get the A rank. Whatever. Whatever. On the plus side, we do get to go to the Chow Garden and see Eggman outside of his walker. And it's kind of hilarious. He's huge! Like, he's bigger than his walker is! Like, how does this work? Also, his running animation is amazing. <laughs> I got to go! Oh, I'm late for work! Oh no! I think I left my suitcase powered! <laughs> oh man, look at his legs go. This is, this is amazing. I'm, I'm coming! I'm coming! Don't worry! Don't start the show without me! Alright, I don't think my shower done, so... We'll just watch the last cutscene and end the episode. With the Chaos Emerald in the Space Colony Ark. Hmm. I've got to find out just what's going on up there. We interrupt this broadcast for an important news flash. There has been a break-in at the Federal Reserve Bank today. Mysteriously, the only thing that was chaos stolen was emerald? the Chaos Emerald. According to eyewitnesses at the scene, the suspect was identified as the world-renowned hero, Sonic the Hedgehog. The suspect was seen fleeing the scene, destroying the reserve's guard robots in his path. Stay tuned Sounds for more, more details. Like the work of Shadow. Yeah, okay, how is it like the military is like, oh yeah, that's Sonic. Um, Sonic's blue, Shadow's black. Like, how in the world do you even mistake that? Plus, they sound nothing alike. Maria is really bad graphics. Shadow, I beg of you, please Maria. do it for me, for all the people on that planet. Her eyes never move. Sayonara, Shadow, Hedgehog. I still remember what I promised you. For the people on this planet, I promise you. Revenge. Yes, that is clearly what Maria was talking about, Shadow. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope you tune in for the next episode. We'll finally be able to go back to our main folder and continue Dark Story. Have a great day, and God bless.